Hi everyone, it's Brad Filipponi from BoxBrownie.com. In today's video, we're going to be shooting a house with the brand new iPhone 13. As stock, it does come with a wide angle lens, which is perfect for shooting real estate. We'll be shooting single exposures and processing the images with BoxBrownie.com's image enhancement service. I can't wait to test this smartphone out, so let's get started. Okay, so let's get started and get the first shot, which is the exterior of the property. All I'm doing is opening up the camera function on the iPhone. I'm going to the 0.5 time zoom, and what I'm gonna do is actually zoom in to roughly 0.6 times. This gives it a, a lot more realistic shot when you're taking the image. So I'm just framing up my shot, keeping super steady. My flash is turned off and I'm just gonna take one single shot and that has been taken. I've just noticed my live function is on. I'm just gonna turn that off on the standard camera settings and we're gonna go inside and, and get the rest of the shots. So this is the front door area. A second shot is gonna be this main TV or sitting room right here. Our blinds are up, our lights are on. Once again, I have that zoom on 0.6. I'm just gonna line up my shot, hit the button. I'll just take one more just in case. And look, we're on to the next shot. Using an iPhone is such an easy tool for any real estate agent, you know, especially a property manager or commercial agent. They literally are just a point and shoot device that's gonna get you such professional results. So all I'm doing now is I'm just taking double shots of each uh, angle. Reason is, uh, just in case there's a bit of movement, you just got another backup. That way you don't have to rush back and, and get another shot that may have been slightly blurry or something like that. So this moves me onto the dining area. Uh, it's gonna be a really quick and easy shoot today. This house is staged. It is professionally just looking great all around. I'm gonna take this dining area and incorporate it with this uh, hallway shot to create a bit of depth. Um, we've got a little bit of a mountain view outside, so I'm gonna squat down a little bit to make sure that's captured in the shot um, because you know the, these cameras have such a, a great sensor that they're gonna really catch all that detail. So we've got this shot, we've got our dining shot. I'm actually gonna go over here now and get another shot this way, sort of you know flowing all this room together. Um, there is a laundry there, so our video man's gonna, gonna hide there around the corner. What this is gonna do is really show the, you know, the gallery of this kitchen and, and the size of it and how it really flows. So I'm gonna use a bit of greenery here in my shot just to, just to break it up and, and make it look fabulous. Um, I'm just gonna find the right angle and all I'm, all I'm doing is literally just, just pressing that shutter button. It can't be, can't be easier enough. These, these smartphone cameras are just getting better and better. Um, they're, they're, they're realistically a point and shoot device now. Um, and all, you know, once you combine that with a bit of uh, boxbrownie.com photo editing, the results are honestly speechless. Like, I really feel that smartphone photography is going to take over the real estate industry and it's already happening. So um, I'm gonna stand back here. I'm gonna really combine this whole room in one. I might even shoot it roughly sort of from here so video man could hide there for me. We do have a beautiful mountain outside. Um, if I stand at full height, you do miss that. So what I'm gonna do is sort of crouch down a little bit, make sure I can try and include that in the shot. Um, and what I have done in this circumstance is actually press the screen so the focus goes on the mountain region outside and it helps with the exposure. So I'm just gonna do that once again. You can see it dropping in and out as I'm doing that. Um, the interior looks good. Um, so look, that's gonna be a fabulous shot. Let me get one of this patio area just before or in case it gets forgotten about. Um, once again, there's that beautiful view outside. Um, I'm just gonna really try and showcase what this backyard has to offer. So I'm gonna try and get the pool area. I'm gonna get the greenery grassed area, obviously the patio. And of course I want that mountain view, which is such a great selling point. I might even just move this chair over a tad. It's gonna sort of line that shot up. Shot up. Once again, once, I, once you hit the screen, it'll focus and adjust exposure accordingly, which can help with any views outside you may want. 
Look, that shot's done. So we've just got a couple more areas of the inside of the home to take today. And as you can see, for a property manager, commercial agent, even if you're a real estate agent on an open listing, there's no excuse for poor marketing anymore. Just grab out your smartphone, upload the images to boxbrandy.com's image enhancement service. Very, very cost effective, and it's much cheaper than using a photographer when you don't have to. Um, that shot's done, which then leads me to the master, master bedroom area. All of our blinds are up, the house is staged, the lights are on. Uh, and of course, doors are always open to show depth, but these shots are just gonna be absolutely magic. I can't wait to edit these shots later on and to really see what the outcome is. And as you can see, all I'm doing is just lining up the shot and pointing and shooting. Uh, you know, shooting the property is really one third of the action. Um, and the editing is probably the other two thirds where, where all the magic really unfolds and happens. So, you know, using boxbrownie.com will really give you the upper hand and it's gonna be so cost effective for your real estate marketing. Um, great tip. I'm actually gonna shoot this uh, without the door in it. Um, we have spoke about this in other videos, but because we have this wardrobe area here, if you shoot it like so, it's really gonna block your shot right here. So what I'm gonna do is shift it over this way, um, which, which doesn't include it, and it actually makes the room look like it's full size. Um, so just a quick tip there, um, but just pointing and shooting, I might do the exact same here in this uh, other bedroom. Just shut that door a little bit. So yeah, I'm not gonna include that area of the wardrobe. I'm gonna shoot just past it. I'm gonna line my shot up, and if I, if I press this screen outside, it'll actually expose the outside a little bit better. That shot's done. Uh, I believe this bathroom will be the last shot inside, but I will do my double check. Um, everything's looking good. Of course, you can see myself in the mirror. Uh, under the standard image enhancement service with boxbrownie.com, uh, we will remove the photographer and the camera all free of charge. So um, another great little tip there. I believe this house has been shot. We've done that angle. I've got the dining area. I might even just get one quick shot of the kitchen. Of course, that kitchen is a very, very popular you know, area of the home. That's looking good. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about doing the garage today. I'm not gonna worry about doing uh, the laundry. What I will focus myself now on is the outside shots, maybe any grassed area for kids or, or family members. Okay, here we are on the exterior of the property. So I am gonna find I suppose the furthest angle of the block, which is roughly here, um, and it's quite a great angle of the property. It's showing all the greenery, the pool area, and actually this, the whole size of this space. The sky's a little bit overcast, which does not affect us with the editing process via boxbrandy.com. I'm just gonna take a couple of shots at different heights. Um, I'm not going back too wide with my zoom. I'm still sitting at that 0.6 times, uh, which is really how the eye sees it. Nothing misleading about that. It's roughly about 16 mil in uh, DSLR photography terms. And now I'm guessing, I'm just gonna go to the corner of this uh, pool area over here um, and get a couple of shots. So I might even just try and capture this area here because I can, what a lovely area this is. Take a couple of shots. Um, and then we're just gonna walk down here and probably get much of a similar shot looking back. Don't fall in the pool, Mr. Cameraman. <laughs> All right, this is looking really good. I might even use a bit of this greenery here to try and uh, you know, enhance the shot. We do have a pool cleaner in there at the moment, but of course we can remove this in the editing process, and I believe we will. There's a few pool toys and stuff. We, uh, we will remove that afterwards in post-production just to show you the quality of what can be done with your smartphone photography. I might even transfer this to a day to dusk as well um, because it's such a hero shot of the property and day to dusk editing will attract up to 400 to even 500 times more click through rate on your hero shot on your listing portal. So another little great tip there. Over here is really a side access area. Uh, there's, there's a bit on here, it's quite, you know, there's, there's different levels. So I might just walk up to the top, 
get a little bit of a feature shot where I can. And realistically, that is our photo shoot done. So I might even go back here, I'm thinking. And I'm just gonna try and just shoot this all in the one shot. Press the screen when you want to refocus or you know, to, to balance any light. Well, there you have it. That is how to shoot a property using a brand new iPhone 13 device. The camera is amazing. As you can see from all the before and after shots we've captured today, these will be your secret weapon in your property marketing schedule. So thanks for watching. Any questions, please comment below. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and I look forward to getting another video out to you soon.